Our English language is usually quite adequate. At times, however, we must be very careful lest we are misunderstood. Even with the best choice of words, there is no guarantee of the proper message being conveyed. One very important example of this is in expressing the relationship of God with humans. We believe that every person has a personal relationship with God, a relationship that needs no intermediary. This relationship, however, is experienced in what is called the communion of the saints, a body in which each person holds a unique position. Our worship reflects that fact. When we gather for a public devotion like the Holy Rosary or a prayer meeting, we find comfort in a fellowship of individuals each praying to God. But the presence of the others is really not important. What we hope to achieve is a personal religious feeling. True communion is not the goal. At church, however, we are not just a fellowship, but truly a communion. We are not a number of Christians sitting next to each other, each experiencing an individual experience of God's presence. It is the body of believers acting as one, united to Christ and to each other, it is a body that goes well beyond the confines of any assembly. It is a body that does not exclude any member of the human race. In attempting to express in our liturgical prayer this important truth of our being such a body, we have used words such as man and mankind, direct translations from other languages. These languages, however, have different words for man as human and man as male. The Church has always made efforts to assure the equality without degrading the identity of the sexes. For example, the establishment of marriage law to protect the spouses. In recent years, the Church has joined American society in taking the affirmative action of using words that help us to vision this equality. The previously widespread use of he is replaced with he or she or s he to be more inclusive. For example, the statement, the nurse uses his or her watch, removes the stereotype that nurses should be female. Another recent creation is using humankind instead of mankind. This has been commonly accepted, though not by all. There is some objection to the use of such new words or structures since they are not as precise as the previous. Also, there is a claim that their use, instead of equalizing, in fact simply emphasizes differences. And so we revert to using plural, gender nonspecific pronouns like us. Regardless of the language we use, mankind, humankind, us, we must assure the truth of an ordered communion of all people throughout the world, of both sexes, of all time.